Hi guys, it's Techzilla back again with a review this time of the official Samsung lens cover case that a lot of people have been waiting on. I picked this up from eBay for nearly a hundred bucks, so it weren't cheap. Um, the seller only had two units, so I managed to grab one of them. Um, and being in the UK, it's especially hard to get hold of. Now, I'll quickly show the packaging it comes in. Pretty pointless packaging really, I mean, it's usually cheap. See the lens cover, portable lens kit for the S7 Edge for everyday camera needs, high grade photo lens and wide angle lens. Anyway, let's chuck all that to the side, you guys are interested in that really. Um, now, I'll quickly go through the case. Plenty of lay on the table design. You can see there and there. And the corners, plenty there, so face down on the table, no issue. Okay. Cutouts for the power button and the volume rockers. Cut out at the top for the noise cancelling mic. If I can bring that to bloody focus, there we go. Completely exposed at the bottom. This is not. This is almost like a minimalist case, so don't get it twisted and think this is going to protect your case, uh, your phone, in a massive drop. It ain't. On the back, you've got the cutout there for the camera and the flash. A nice metallic Samsung logo right there. You've got a, a hump here, which is more in line, you know, with a with a genuine camera when you're trying to hold it. It's got that sort of extra thickness there to hold it in place. It's not a real leather, um, but it, you know, it feels and looks premium. It does mark up a little bit. If you look there, a little nick there, nothing major. Mark there, a little bit of a mark there. But you know, it makes it look more authentic, I guess. It makes it more look more like genuine leather. A little white dot at the top. Let me just take the case off and show you what the inside looks like real quick. Sorry guys, let me just pull back, it's easier. I know it sounds like amateur time, but it's just the way it makes life quicker and easier. Inside it's lined with this lovely black sort of felt material, so it stops the back of your phone getting scratched up. <coughs> Embossed into that is the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, made in Vietnam. Embossed into this felt, feels really nice. It's a hard, you know, a hard plastic shell that's coated with this vinyl, if you like, leather look vinyl. Anyway, really easy to get on and off the phone. Now I've got a Spigen screen protector on this phone that runs all the way down to the edges right to the edge and it doesn't lift the screen protector it doesn't peel it, doesn't bubble it, nothing look so it works well with that it really does feel nice in the hand it's a little bit slippery though on the back just a little bit but you know that's it is what it is um, now Let's chuck that down from here. I've got this case as well with the two lenses in the packaging. These are two individual tubes that come apart and they lock into place. Samsung logo on both lids. They have to come off easy enough. Now, when you take it off, the way I think it is, this is like a, dust, a dust cover for this lens. Personally, that's what I think it is. Because when you put it back in, it clicks in on, into the case itself. There's nothing special about the case in turn, you know, it's just hard plastic, hard matte plastic on the inside. Now the lenses themselves, now I'm gonna show you something here. Black dot there, right? White dot up here. You line these two up, that's what it's for and screws in, no issues. See now, if you're using it and you don't want to take the lens off, that acts as a dust cover. So if I take this off now, it's, a, it's like a very hard rubber material. Now this lens is the wide angle lens here. 
Samsung wide angle lens, right? See that? Really, this I've tried it out a little bit. I'll do a more in-depth review, but really, really good optics. When you're using these lenses, though, bear in mind the flash and the here is not going to show up because it's been covered by the lens. Now, let me just pull back. There we go. Now, let me bring something in here. Let's try and get some photos quickly. So you guys, while I just adjust, let me just adjust that up a bit. All right, let's put that further back if I can. There we go, right? Now, let's put that there. I don't know, let's say we put that there. Now, bear in mind, that's the wide angle lens, right? If you could, sorry guys, let me, it's difficult, I'm trying to juggle two cameras at once. And obviously you're not gonna see the beauty of it from here, but if you look at that image there, I haven't taken a photograph yet, but look how wide that angle gets. Just click a photo and another one, right? Now, let me try and take the lens off. You see that, how different it becomes? It's not, it's not wide angle anymore. It's brought the images in really close. So, you know, that gives you an idea of the wide angle lens. Now, let me pop this one back in. I just show you it's all metal Samsung it tells you on the actual lens itself Samsung angle lens it's all metal really nice construction in my opinion anyway put the dust cover back on and put it back into the case now let's go into the macro lens here Sorry guys, I've just cut my nails, I don't have any nails. Bring that down a bit. There we go. There's the lens in there. It didn't come out with the... See it says cap inside there, if I can get that shot in. So I'm guessing that's obviously, as I said, it's the dust cover or dust cap if you like for the lens this one says telephoto lens again metal construction and again I'll get it lined up with the two dots you see that there goes on no issue pull that off let's get out of the way now let's bring in something if I can try and get a good shot you see that there sorry guys I'm being stupid there we go that's better you see that there I'm about mm, probably about 20 centimeters away from that object if I get closer you see it starts to blur up See that, and I'll pull it back. And it's back into focus, about 20 centimeters away. Now, put that down, let's undo the lens. I know this isn't scientific at all, this is just a quick one for you guys to see. You know, you look at the difference, it's a lot further away now. See, now the camera, is that close it's still in focus but I'm only literally about five centimeters away from the box you can see that so the macro camera in my opinion will allow you get get closer to a subject that's further away so if you're into your wildlife photography and stuff like that um, you know it will help you with that you don't have to get too close to the subject and scare it off and whatnot now do i think this case is a go or is it a no it's very steep 
but I'm gonna say it. If you really love your photography and you're a big, you know, camera user, mobile phone camera user, I would say this is a go. It adds that extra something in my opinion. As I said, I've been testing it, I'll do a more in-depth review of its capabilities, but bear in mind also, when you're using this, sorry, let me just readjust the angle, there we go. When you're using this, you can also video record with these lenses. So with the lenses on, it will video record fine and it will you know, take advantage of the extra performance of these. Oh, one more thing I did want to mention, or two more things. Wireless charging, no issue with this case on. I haven't found any problems. Now, some people have said that this thread in here is plastic. I don't think that is plastic, I think that's metal. The reason I'm saying that is, if you see there, there's little, it's painted in black, there's a little chip on there that's got silver showing through. So that to me suggests that this is metal. Let me just actually do something, hold on, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Let me just pull back quickly, right. Listen to this. That sounds like metal on metal to me. Now if I screw it in, it feels like metal to me. It, I'm sure that's a metal thread on inside there. I don't think that's plastic. It just doesn't feel like plastic. I don't think Samsung would have put metal thread on this and then plastic in there because you know it would eat our way at it. But I'm pretty sure that's a metal thread. So I'll find that out for sure. But I'm pretty I'm pretty certain I'm right in what I'm saying. I'm gonna say it's a definite go. It's different, it's innovative in the sense of it, you know, it's gone that step further in quality to what you know what most cameras or sort of clip on things are and stuff like that. So I'm gonna recommend it. I enjoyed using it a lot. And I highly recommend you guys try it out for yourselves. I'm pretty sure you'll all enjoy using this with these with these lenses. And I like the the fact you've got this nice little case to carry both lenses in. Um, and I like the fact you see this bump here. It just adds that little bit of thickness at the bottom of the phone. I just wish it was a little bit more grippy on the back. If it was real leather, that would be a lot more grippy, I reckon you know it would feel better but then it you know would it be as long lasting i doubt it but then again you know it's just a quick it's just a quick unboxing and sort of initial impressions of this so guys hit that subscribe button so i can bring you more excellent reviews give me a thumbs up if you like the video if you didn't give me a thumbs down i don't mind but let me know why give me a thumbs down I've got loads of reviews coming up. I've got more Spigen. I've got more um, cases coming from Melco. I've got this leather flip case from Melco that they've asked me to review. So I'll be doing that. Um, I've also got the Poetic Affinity cases that they've sent, sent out to me that I've reviewed. So, you know, check them out. But anyway, guys, take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.